continue to focus on more big developments. In fact, in big news, amid the strained India-Canadian ties, while Canada trains guns at India, let's tell you, reports suggest Canada haven for K-thugs. More importantly, Times Network accesses exclusive details. In fact, let's tell you that these details show gang nexus in Canada. What we're given to understand with this report coming to the fore right now is that gangster syndicate in Canada and report details information on gangster and associates. So that's the big breaking input that we're given to understand as far as what Times Network has been able to access while, of course, remember the diplomatic row between the two nations continues. Uh, this is after Canada, of course, accused India while Canada trains guns at uh, India. That is, reports suggest Canada haven for K thugs. Uh, what we also know in terms of those exclusive details that have been accessed by Times Network, it is revealing that there is a gang nexus in Canada. In fact, it's a gangster syndicate in Canada is what we're given to understand. While, remember, Canada blames Indian authorities. Uh, Times Network has got exclusive details of gangsters who are still present in Canada and they're running a syndicate from within uh, the country, that is, uh, with the help of goons and their local partners. Um, in fact, we are... Uh, also picking up details as to how uh, this does have a certain background as far as the central agency of NIA also who had announced a particular uh, reward against specific gangsters uh, back in September 2020. Uh, those are, of course, additional details that are coming to the fore. Uh, but having said that, this is what we're given to understand with those exclusive details. Priyank, my colleague, uh, will help us draw a better perspective on that. Priyank, good morning. Uh, this is, of course, extremely important details that Times Network has been able to access. What more can you tell us? Uh, yes, I think since the last year, the National Investigating Agency has been uh, putting forward these uh, dossiers before the Canadian Authority. This has started in no time and again. Uh, these are the uh, uh, compiled data of uh, the top gangsters, with seven of them who are uh, residing in China. And uh, firstly, that is what the Indian authorities have been asking uh, from the Indian authorities. Uh, these are the people who have been on the top list uh, out of 43 names which are given uh, by the National Investigating Agency about uh, those international terrorists who uh, were initially gangsters and now they have turned out to be terrorists. Uh, need to be uh, put forward. Uh, so that the Canadian authorities can start the procedures of handing them over to the Indian authorities. Uh, but uh, the biggest worry is that uh, in the name of uh, uh, Nigel, who was who died recently uh, in the in the gang wars, because there have been several gangs which are operating in Canada. And uh, now uh, the prime minister of the country, Justin Trudeau, has been coming out and uh, shedding tears regarding the alleged activity which they are claiming that had been done with the Indian authorities and uh, the Indian High Commission staff could be the person of interest. This is what they said. And we, we know that what followed after which uh, we have called back the invoice or not. The fact of the matter is that once these uh, individuals are already there and it is being put forward before the authorities uh, since months, no action is being taken. So this is a very selective kind of... Uh, you know, approach which is being shown by the authorities, and these are the list of the approach which is being shown by the authorities, and these are the list of the of those gangsters who fled from India, who got shelter in Canada, and they are operating from the foreign soil. They are indulging in narco terror, uh, arms uh, uh, smuggling, and multiple target ki targeted killing, and also threat to various uh, celebrities and businessmen here in the country. So that is something which we are trying to highlight after putting forward uh, the compiled list of dossiers of all these. Uh, uh, terrorists uh, who are based in the candy soil. Right, Priyank. Thank you very much for getting us more details and helping us draw perspective on that exclusive that's been accessed by Times Network. But for the moment, we'd have to leave it at that. In fact, we're shifting our focus.